Hi, my name is James Newman. Today we're going to be doing one of my favorite components in Salonis, that's the scatter plot. It lets you compare the results of two queries on an X and Y axis and see the distribution of data points between them. So I'm here in our claim financial claims data set uh, with some uh, fake investigators and we're going to see the relationship between the amount of time um, of a case and the number of activities in that case. So I'm going to pull up the scatter plot and that's I click component down in charts and tables scatter plot so click on that and different than the OLAP table or the column chart you get the option for two queries here different than the histogram chart which was in our one of our previous videos um, so I'm going to open this up and just do a simple uh, counting of the number of activities per case so cases is the default table that gets created when you upload a basic um, activity table and so then we're just going to count the number of activities per case and for the vertical data series we're going to do the total throughput time um, so then we should see on the x-axis the number of touches per case and then on the y-axis we'll see the number of days that it's been open and we see this kind of relationship where the longer it's been open the more number of touches and vice versa and scatter plot's great to see kind of visual clustering of outliers you can be able to select and say, okay, I just want to look at these cases, what's going on here, or invert it and say, I don't, I just look at everything except those outliers for right now. Um, so nice little flexibility in the filtering with this component, which is really nice compared to some of the, the other options out there in the ecosystem. So then I want to be able to show maybe a grouping. So look at these cases by investigators. So you have these advanced options, you can click grouping and that gives you the option to do another query and I'm going to say I want the investigator. So now it's going to do groupings and colorings based on the investigator. We got a lot of investigators so it's a little busy um, but you're able to see now the breakdown of different investigators and their relationship between timing and Make sure the x-axis shows for you. The relationship between number of touches and timing. So you could click and say, okay, Adam Duritz has the most number of cases out of humans. So I'm gonna go in and filter on him. And now you see just his cases. Um, or you could do it the other way and say, I'm just gonna look at Alfred Hitchcock and just look at his cases and that's going to readjust and show you his. Um, one of the in good important things to note, um, you might notice that when we add this grouping, this kind of outliers group disappeared here. Um, there is a limit on the number of data points that will show at one time. Uh, it's limited to 5,000 data points. When you add groupings, remove groupings, it kind of changes that. Um, so you could make this a little more. I could put this up to 5,000 right now. Um, and you'd see a lot more data points fill in there. Um, important to note, it will slow down your browser a little bit, um, the more data points you have in there. Um, so typically this kind of plot is perfect for um, hundreds of data points, high hundreds, um, not great for thousands or hundreds of thousands of data points. Um, but it can be really handy to kind of visually see the relationship between two KPIs. Um, so number of touches, number of relationship to cycle time. Um, another one that I've done is relationship to a certain KPI, um, so cost per case or something like that. Um, so those are some kind of things that you can do with the scatter plot. Um, hope this was helpful. Have a great day.